Hello coders, this is a quick review on how to code for immunization from your CPT manual. There's also a code from your ICD-10, which is just one code usually, whenever there's vaccine given. Um, you will always use Z23 from your ICD-10 manual, so not much to discuss there, but there's a lot to discuss from CPT manual. So when you go to code from CPT, uh, manual, you have to remember that you have to code three codes actually. Okay, so the first one is evaluation management code for the actual visit. That is when you see the doctor and the doctor has to do his evaluation and management, which is the code coming from your evaluation management section, page 11 in your CPT. The two other codes are your immunization codes. When I say immunization, I mean the vaccine or the toxoids which is the stuff given to you in the injection of the immunization codes, okay? Such as the substance or the stuff can be influenza vaccine, MMR vaccine, COVID vaccine, which we're still waiting for. And then the other code for the immunization is administration code. These are also the main terms that you will be looking for in your CPT index. So make sure you pay attention to all the words in the vocabulary I am using as a medical coder. It is important for you to understand the terminologies, the words, the vocabulary, the coder uses because you will be using them in your coding language, in your coding work, and also in your CPC exam. They will use all these terms and, and, and try to establish if you understand the codes or not. So the second code for immunization um, is administration code. The administration code is uh, for the stick of the injection or how was the uh, immunization given. It depends upon the age, the number of injections given, the number of vaccines in one injection given, a single vaccine in one injection, a combination of vaccines in one injection, such as DTAP, which is combination of three vaccines, but given as one injection, so it will be considered as one code. And the routes of administration, which could be IM, IV, oral, and nasal. These are all considered to be part of the key factors for your administration codes. And remember, we talked about the vaccines and the toxoids. This is all the stuff that they put into one injection, and we call that as vaccine and toxoids. And these are some of the examples given to you. So again, these are all the key factors that you are coding for. So you're coding for evaluation management, one code. You have two codes for immunization, vaccines and toxoids, administration code, which is the stick. Okay. The other factors, oops, the other factors that are relevant to all of this, to immunization codes, are the age, counseling, status, location, type of service, and the route of administration. So these are something that you have to review when you review all your coding guidelines. Let's work on a scenario. So the scenario is again make sure you pay attention to all the keywords I have highlighted and, and, and uh, uh, underlined for you. A five-year-old established patient is at a physician's office for her annual well-child well examination. The patient is scheduled to receive her first hepatitis B, hepatitis A vaccine, IM, intramuscular, her fifth diphtheria, tetanus, and acellular pertussis vaccine, IM, intramuscular, and the influenza vaccine, IM intra, intramuscular. After discussing the vaccine information and the risk and benefits of the immunization with her parents, the physician administers the vaccine. How are the appropriate codes for this service selected? Now remember the keywords. We have the age of the patient. We have the status of the patient. We have the location and we have the kind of examination the patient underwent. These are all very important keywords. Annual physical examination is another word used for preventative services, which is the word we will be looking for. Then how many vaccines? Do you see the number of vaccines here? There are three of them. Then the last paragraph gives you the counseling the patient was given by the physician before the physician administered the vaccines. Pay very close attention to everything I said. Now we come to our first code evaluation and management. Page 11, your CPT manual, 
and this is your first section of your CPT in red pages. So we're selecting 3393, okay? So this says preventative medicine, established patient, ages 5 to 11. How are we going to find this? The first thing we do is we always go to the index, the back of the um, CPT manual, and our main term will always be evaluation and management in the index. And we are going to look for our subterm. The subterm is going to be preventative services. Second word after the main term is always a subterm. Again, pay attention to the words in the vocabulary I'm using. This is also your CPC exam prep. So preventative medicine, we find it right here. We find the code range. It's also given on the top. And remember, preventative services is the main term you will look for anything documented as well check, well child check, routine, physical exam, yearly exam, anything that says that for any age of the person, doesn't matter. You are always going to select preventative medicine, a very key point to remember. Let's go to our, remember we were on our index, now we go to our uh, section or the tabular list or the beginning of the book in our evaluation management red pages section and we're looking for preventative medicine so the best way to find a code in your section evaluation management section is the upper corners upper side of the page which gives you the code ranges so you're looking for 99381 that was the beginning of our code range we see it right here 99380 to 99387 this is exactly where my code is located Yes, it is because I do see preventative medicine services, but I see new patient. My patient is established patient. If you don't remember, go back and read the scenario again, pause the video and take a look at it again. Your patient is not new. He is established. So we turn over the page and we are concentrating on two key points, two key words, status and age. Status established. We found that already age now we're going to go to review the codes we found in the index 99391 is for the infant okay make sure you read everything i'm just giving you the keywords we want to focus we want to underline and remember for the exam especially then we go down to 992 which says one through four our kid is five years old we go to the next code it says 5 through 11. Perfect. This is the code I am looking for. And this is the code I am going to confirm with the right selection. So now we go to find our immunization codes. Remember, the immunization codes are two vaccine toxoids and administration codes. Again, they're both found in the CPT manual. So the first code we have to find is for the three of these substance or the stuff or the vaccine codes. Remember the all these words I'm using to make sure that you understand what is a vaccine toxoid. It is the substance that we put into the injections or in any other form to give it to the patient. So this is the substance actually. And these are the three codes. Let's see how we can find them in the index. In the index, we always follow the vaccine and the toxoids as our main term. And you can see it's right here. It's this, the page given is for uh, 2020 CPT manual. We go down and we follow the subterm hepatitis. We have a code range for hepatitis. Write it down, memorize it. I don't know. I mean, I cannot memorize all these codes, so I just write them down because I have to find them in my tabular section of the CPT manual. Um, so we go down and we find DTAP in the same way. Do you see the DTAP is given in short term and in detailed term with the code range given right next to it. We do the same thing with influenza. This is all under vaccine and toxoids. Okay, this was your main term. We found all of them under it. And now we're going back to our section, tabular section of medicine, green pages, and we will look for the vaccine and toxoids. Again, we do the same thing. We look at the right upper pages. We find the code ranges and we will look for the codes that code ranges we found in the index confirm them here now remember again we always read the guidelines remember the guidelines are always written under it you need to read them 
you come here and you match your keywords. What are your keywords? Your keywords are hepatitis A, yes. Pediatric adolescent, yes. Uh, two dose, well, could be. We just have to go back and read the scenario if there was any such mention. Otherwise, intramuscular, yes, definitely. You can see the difference between the two. It will give you the difference from the scenario to your tabular section. But this is the code that fits our scenario. We do the same thing with the rest of the code ranges for diphtheria, tetanus, acellular pertussis, or DTAP. Again, younger than seven years for intramuscular use. Confirmed, absolutely. We do the same thing for influenza, which is a little more, more complicated. It says quadruvalent. It says split virus. It does say that in our scenario as well, and intramuscular. So we confirmed all these codes, right? As soon as you confirm, you have a confirmation of all these codes being exactly what it says. Do you see how it's hepatitis says two dose? That is why we selected that. So everything has to match. Documentation is way, way important in these scenarios. Now we go to administration, and administration code is basically um, also dependent upon age and counseling. This is something you have to find, and you have to ask these two questions. Is the patient younger than 18? Yes. Is Did the patient had counseling with the doctor? If you read this, yes, he did. So now we go to our main term in the index, which is administration. Find the code ranges. Do you see how it says with counseling? And each additional vaccine means there was more than one. E one vaccine means one. So we had three vaccines given, so we are definitely going to choose 461 because it was also with counseling. We move backwards to our medicine section in our tabular section of the book. Follow the immunization administration. This is not vaccine anymore. This is immunization administration of the vaccine. You review the guidelines. You verify the guidelines and the keywords, which is dependent upon the age, the counseling, route of administration, and the number of vaccines. So administration is dependent upon all these four factors I said, and you can see it is under 18. Any route of administration, counseling by physician, first or only component, which was not first because we had more, but we, remember this is an add-on code. So we have to code 460 and 461 for each ad additional vaccine. So eventually we have to code um, 460 as our first and 461 twice because we're going to be using three codes here. Okay, we had three codes for three vaccines. Okay, so you can see how we are going to be putting these two codes twice. Um, it doesn't show that, but you're going to be using 461 for each additional toxoid twice, written twice in the code. Hopefully that helps you understand how to code for immunization and what exactly does it mean. Remember, documentation is very, very important. You're constantly reading, reviewing everything that you possibly can to confirm every single code in the index and in the tabular section. Hopefully that helped you. If not, please stay in touch with me. I'll be more than happy to assist.